What's up guys, it's Leopold the Brave here. Now if you've been on this channel for a while, you may know that I've hit a rut recently and don't exactly know what to do. So I've decided to just take a step back and think about what I really want to do for this channel. And for one of those things, I'd like to look at the top 5 channels that I like to watch the most to see if anything they do is something that I'd also like to do. And who knows, making this little countdown here may make me want to do countdown videos. <coughs> Good countdown videos. So with that said, here are my top 5 favorite YouTubers. This is not okay! It's time to stop! It's time to stop! Number 5 is a tie between Hypergage and Hyun's Jojo. Many of you may not know this, but I've been on YouTube since 2008 on several other failed accounts. And Hyun's Dojo has got to be the channel I've spent the most time on during my early days of YouTube. They would usually upload lots of really cool stick figure fights that I would enjoy watching. They had great choreography and the animation was smooth and fluid and fun to watch. Being a fan of Tekken and lots of kung fu movies, I really really enjoy very well done fight scenes. And a whole channel dedicated to animated fight scenes? Um, yeah. The only problem is, this is the only channel on the list that has something I may not be able to actually do. I've tried and tried time and time and again to try and figure out how to comprehend and use Flash these past couple of years, but no matter how many tutorials I watch, it just never seems to stick. But despite me not being able to join in, it still doesn't harm the enjoyment I get out of watching these. So Hypergage and Hyun's Dojo, keep doing what you're doing. This is not okay! It's time to stop! It's time to stop! I can't think of a specific channel for number 4, but let's just say the commentary community. And no 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 no, I don't mean lame commentary channels like Leafy who just choose videos that are easy to pick on and don't give any valid points and instead just say things like, Oh my gosh, you are really messed up in the head, you are just messed up. Down on it too, oh my god. Like, I have seen kids screaming over Minecraft and they're not as messed up as you. Oh my. I'm talking about actual commentators. You know, the guys who help out smaller channels improve by giving them constructive criticism. They properly find wrong points made and emphasize just how stupid they are, so the user knows not to make the same mistake. Instead of pulling a leafy and going, What's wrong with this guy? He's a psycho. He might try and break in my house. Oh my god. You know, that sort of thing. So commentary channels are number four your own informed decisions with your own reasons rather than a vlogger told me to do so. This is not okay. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Oh, Jeffy, here I come. And when I see you, I'm going to punch you in your retarded face. I hate you, Jeffy. Oh, I hate you. Oh, my God. I can't wait to kill him. I'm coming for you, Jeffy. I'm coming. Oh, my God. When I see him, I'm going to punch him. I'm almost there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna... ah! Super Mario Logan, number 3 is Super Mario Logan. You know, they say a grown man playing with toys is weird, but you know what's weirder than that? A grown man watching a grown man play with toys. Ha ha ha! Talk about the Don't Judge a Book by its cover channel. You like the Muppets, don't you? You think Jeff Dunham is hilarious, right? Well, Super Mario Logan is not much different from that. You'll come to his videos expecting something cringy like a 40-year-old virgin just waving around a Mario doll but it's actually not what you might think. Sure, there's a lot of immature humor in it, but there's lots of wit too. The puppet work is also done very well, and the videos have a high level of production value. I don't know, maybe it's just because like Hyun's Dojo at number 5, I grew up watching Super Mario Logan when he first started. But it can't just be nostalgia. The videos are more than worth your time, and the actors actually display a very believable performance. You're gonna be fighting the ring trick! Where could it be? Mario, Mario! Dear God! What the hell happened in here? You can tell that each person that works on it is very talented in acting. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if any of these guys got jobs as voice actors if casting directors saw their performances. But not only is the channel awesome, but so is the community. There are quite a few review channels for his videos, and some of them actually hold live streams that Logan himself actually joins. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, you've seen popular YouTubers look at the camera and act like they're talking to their fans or something, but how often is it that someone with over a million subscribers actually comes down to interact with fans that barely even scratched a thousand? You can definitely tell that he cares about his channel, his job, and his fans. So even if you don't like his content, you gotta admit he's a pretty great guy. So Super Mario Logan is number three. Black lives matter! Uh, 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 okay, I'm just sorry. Racist. Hey, faggot. Jeff, Jeff. Excuse me! Uh, what you just say? Uh, no, sorry, that was, that was... This is not okay! It's time to stop! It's time to stop! I'm, I'm not so grump! And we're the game grumps! Oh come on, how did you not expect to see these guys on here? Who doesn't love the Game Grumps? 
This is like an ultimate party of all my favorite people on the internet just splashing together to play some video games. I knew Ego Raptor before Game Grumps. I knew JonTron before Game Grumps. I even knew about NSP before Danny joined the Game Grumps. So seeing all these people I adored come together was definitely exciting. In fact, a friend and I are kind of already doing what they do in another channel. Click the link in the description if you want to see that. Here, 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 shameless plug. The Game Grumps have created plenty of memorable moments and quotes, and these have spawned plenty of creative and memorable animations. Praying her so that the power to repel ever would continue to be contained within the blood of the monster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was attacked by the Evil <laughs> Gondor. <laughs> now there's nothing new about the concept of two people sitting down and playing some video games, but their wacky personalities definitely make the show its own. And that's why Game Grumps takes the number two spot. Why don't you go first? Uh... Yay! Wait, I got this one for you, Dan. Oh boy! This is not okay! It's time to stop! It's time to stop! For a channel to be number one on this list, I have to like it more than all the previous channels that I've stated. One that has cool little animations like Hien's Dojo. One with some relatable logic like good commentary channels. One with some immature yet charming humor while also having some witty humor, like Super Mario Logan. And one with its own very entertaining personality that sets it apart from other channels like it, like the Game Grumps. For a channel to be number one, it must possess all four of these qualities. And that channel is... Hi, and welcome back to Pan Rants. And when I was a kid, I watched 90s cartoons. My childhood was awesome. Kids today ain't got nothing. Oh yeah, Rebel Taxi! Now there are lots of cartoon review channels out there who have animated avatars, but Rebel Taxi takes it to a whole new level with the unique style of his characters and the entertaining atmosphere of his videos. He normally gives very informative reviews, but there's lots of comedy in there too. Whenever he finds something uninteresting and that might sound boring, he will derail it and twist it into the most awkward thing imaginable, and it's hilarious. Guys, if me and Pen Ward were friends, we'd be both pen pals and pen pals <laughs> and if my name was chuck and i had a friend named buck we could play chuck and buck suck and fuck now i'm not a very big podcast listener but every other tuesday he uploads the pizza party podcast which is about telling cartoon news all the podcast members are quite memorable it derails into extremely hilarious moments and sometimes he even gets guests from the animation industry so overall rebel taxi is hilarious entertaining and fun to watch and that's why he's my number one favorite youtuber X-Men person, but I, bought, but I have one, you know, I guess my mom bought it for me, but they actually crippled the toy. Like, like they, they, they like, uh, didn't screw in his joints well enough. So like he can't stand up. He literally falls over every time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I think you, I think we broke Pam. Yeah. That's like, that's like the toy makers were like, no.